Let me first say we thank and praise God that we've all made it here safely today. I pray to God that your return and my return will be equally as safe. Uh, that's not my fault. Soft. Yeah. You know, we used to Negro talking loud, right? Y'all told me to be like you, so I'm like, <laughs> no, no, that's not up here. Right. I got some of the option help, but I don't like white folks giving me shit. I ain't seen I ain't seen if I didn't. You know, <laughs> that word bothers your mouth. Somewhere. I sit here the last day and have wondered do you really know who you are? Do you really know who you are? See, when you cry out and you're not sanctioned by Harvard or Yale or the people in control, sometimes you even have doubts. What you have can save not just America, but this whole planet. Okay. I've been waiting for you. And it might be too late. I would never say this publicly. Once you nine months pregnant, you can't abort. But if it can be saved, it's because of you. Not the Kennedy assassination. You. Unbeknown to them thugs, September 11 happened with all the electronics. You don't have to depend on NBC and CBS in the power structure. You have it in your hand. I listened to you this morning, Sister and thought about had it not been for the civil rights movement that liberated all of us, you wouldn't have had this space. Only women. And when you think about what we have missed down through the years, I lived in all black neighborhood. And nothing I hear anywhere is to hear African American in my community. We do not live in a community. They don't know that the community is where you control your press, you control your money, you control bank and finance, you control the cop. We don't control that. We live in a hood. What is a hood? Something you put over your face when you're trying to hide something. They don't know that. And you think about how this system has messed up our mouth. How many PhDs you got? I look at my mother. What a lady. Worked two jobs all year because she had six children. So we could have Christmas. Christmas. You know that idiot you got to be to work your butt off? Not to your children to go to college because that wouldn't even in our mentality. For Santa Claus. And when that black woman work her butt off, she tell me a white man walked this just and y'all don't even know who we are. Think about that. You had a Jew being dumb enough to say Hitler and the Nazis brought you these toys. Huh? And that's the big problem. We know all of it. That's why I didn't have to do too much to move over into this. I lived while nothing but black folk. I didn't see. I'm 81 years old. I didn't, we didn't have TV yet. What do you mean, Fennett? Radio. You know how dumb you got to be to listen to a tap dancer on the radio? <laughs> <laughs> so if I'm out around the white folks, and the only white folks I see in the movie, I didn't know it was no dumb white folks till I went to white college. <laughs> I didn't know it was no ugly white folks till I went to white college. <laughs> I got to college and called on and said, Mom, 
I wish he was here. I saw her. Oh, you're right, dude, today. She said, Son, have you started that drinking? And the problem today in America, as fast as this thing is moving, we don't know each other. If you knew what I had, we worked for the white folks that did this. We knew it, though you knew it. But when they put you down to nothing, they don't see you. You invisible. So I just had to slide mine over and put it in a box. No way to do this. How many of y'all talking last Abraham Lincoln? Lincoln. We knew that Lincoln's daddy was black. Why do you think they started off that movie talking about his nappy kinky hair? <laughs> and the good thing about that, these are young producers that's doing that. They're not scared to do it. Huh? And you don't catch the cold that Lincoln was gay. What's the gay the gay way of the Republican Party? Oh, Who's the only president you have to do gay in a long cap? Y'all don't y'all miss that shit. <laughs> Somewhere. And so I just say thank you. I participated in the 50th anniversary of the I Got a Dream speech. I was really disappointed and hurt. Not once with our Indian brothers and sisters. And you white folks are tough, baby. You stole this fucking country from them. And when you talk about September 11th, all that bullshit, they don't even come into your life. A lot of white folks I meet, you think America was a good country that bad, and they ain't nothing like that. You just asked them the wrong ass the Indians. Ask a woman, a white woman that came over here with that talk. And he didn't give her the right to vote in 1921. That's his mama, his daughter, his wife, his sister. And that's when you work with shit, you smell like shit. Hear me now. Because that's what y'all dealing with. And it's hard to get people to come over on this side. Why? Why? It's hard. Because they've accepted it. Hmm? They've accepted it. And you live too. Oh, you grew like this. Well, oh, you hear that shit happening over there in Syria right now. It's arguing still. Y'all so fucking good at research. Are you worried that? Are you researching? It all goes together. You can't do what we're here for and think they're not poisoning your food. Huh? And I messed up because I thought y'all was hiding nobody for this bad white folks. Oh, oh God. And I got a number. We talk teams. Huh? And then when it touches you, then you raise your What about all of you who've been out here before this? Huh? Before this. And you can't make black folks rise up to all that shit you talking about today. We've been going to do that. Y'all didn't know. <laughs> when them thugs in Europe had all the money they made, see one thing about a white crew, oh, I love white Christians. When you get old, you try to give them help, and you give up all the shit. Somewhere. If my mother was alive to hear some of the shit I'm talking about, she'd call police on me. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you how important you are. Money is not power. Education is not power. Information is power. You can give me bad information, you got bad power. And those of you all heard my sister here this morning, we were talking about that time. They laughed. They laughed because we were embarrassed. The people we paid to check us didn't tell us that. We don't have to pay tax to you. We don't have to pay tax to you. But you win in it. You win in it because you got a new set of young folks coming through that don't look at NBC or CBS or ABC News. So when you stop and think about the internet, 
thing about when Kenny was shot, I never said he was gunned down and killed in Dallas because he didn't die in Dallas. Now, I'm not going to get into that. Who would have heard about that? Okay, oh, that's all. I don't know how I'm saying this to say that. Y'all don't know nothing. Huh? You're working on this. And if this country falls and it's so far, you can blame it on the press and the police. Not the cops you see in the street. The ones that know what happened to Kennedy and Dallas. They told you they were no longer old enough. Don't you know if Kennedy got there, his brain was missing? How many of y'all know that? Okay? And then you didn't ask the question, is the president of Palmer just get shot? All the secret, everybody got to be around him. Who got his brain? What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> There's a movie out on it. You know about the other side of the river? Hmm? It's the other side of the river. You better watch the movies a little close. How many of y'all saw the last Batman movie? Anybody? <laughs> Did you remember? Yeah, you saw it, right? That, that Batman movie finished two years before it was released. And all that mess in Colorado, you know what? Go back and see it again. Do you know they mentioned Sandy Hook in that movie? Huh? That's why your children are so here. They catch all them seals and you don't. Black community, we trying to tell them, pull your pants up. Well, I can say that because I used to be a heavy drunker. And how many times drink, how many times I go drunk? I was breaking the law. Wearing your pants below your butt ain't breaking the law. Y'all crazy. <laughs> Men that let women don't wear their pants down low. The Nazis didn't wear their pants down low. The Ku Klux Klan that was breaking black folk didn't wear their pants down low, but y'all scared of And when you stop and think about it, this whole thing of saving this nation is in your hands. And they know it. Because if you used to take this conference out with NBC and CBS to an editorial, you all the folks thought of it. And I like to hear someone's name, but I mean, you feel pain. <laughs> so you think this just happened? How many of y'all know about that mentally retarded center they had in Boston in nineteen twenty nine? <laughs> and what did they do in 1929? This government, just to make sure you don't think this just happened. They took magazines. They just getting ready for the new page. These are all watching. Put them in the open in the morning and send them to you think this just started? You think America was good and got bad? Then most of the black folk you had, they lied to you. And thank God I don't know what my mama put in me, if she put it in me. I ain't never lied to my mother. My Martin Luther King, oh, he, he, was not, he was just as nice off TV as he was in his I'll call you a honky in a minute. <laughs> but I'll also be out here dying with you. Because I know who you know. And one day when y'all find out what your hockey means, <laughs> see, prostitution is for white men. Okay? Somebody said, more well, black men, but she's my sister, I'll give you a bitch for sure. Tell me about what it is. In all the whole houses, in the black community, 
where the white man couldn't be seen by their friends. And they pulled up to the house and honked the car, honk, honk. And the black man come out, take him in and park his car. That's honky. Somewhere. Harvard, Ivy League School. I know some white folks in Europe, some black folks here wouldn't send a dog there. Every Ivy League school was created by slave owners for their dumb white boys. Yeah, right now they got 12 schools. School of this, school of that. Eight of us named after slave owners. So where you go? And I know what they do to you. They beat you up, they take your money away from you, they lie on you. Why not? You are army going after the enemy. And the enemy is supposed to act to us the way they do it. Ain't nothing personal. But you know he's not doing nothing is when they don't bother you. So let me tell you something, man. You and God, so that universal God took your leaders to the French. You have to be validated by the New York Times and the Washington Post and NBC. You validated by your peers. You validated by people who go through the same thing you have. Who is up here talking about a, a new type of prostitution that's coming out? NBC cameras be lined up in the street. They're coming from all over the world to cover this. <laughs> but you have in your hand to save America and the world. They ain't about to come up. And you see raises us in the union. We ought to mess you up. We got those old accomplices like this for three days and don't say nothing. <laughs> they can go back empty. They think you switched over on our side. <laughs> I thank you. Architects and engineers. That impressed my grandmother. <laughs> and they're willing to invest money to do the same thing they do. Go to Broadway and advertise a show. For a new type of alcohol. You know what part of this is? What you do. And the universe protects you. Let, let, let me first say for a white folks. Let me apologize to you white folks. Okay. You have had a president in the White House. 
for one control by the big boys. Ha. So don't blame this on this brother. <laughs> <laughs> you just talk to white folks here. Look, you can hate the nigga if you want to, but at least his mama's white love the white part of it. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all know I write the president. And a lot of and you just wasted your vote on me because I got one. I got to ask for a recount. <laughs> <laughs> See, I know this shit was going on then. <laughs> How many of y'all saw me on the Jack Paul the Jack Paul show that night? When I talked about the government tapping my phone, oh, he was kicking at me, but Mr. Gregory, I can't believe you put on this show and accused the United States government of tapping your phone. You have any evidence? <laughs> <laughs> Anytime a black person in America can open their telephone $70,000 and they don't cut the phone off, it's time. <laughs> they call me once a year. They'll tell me, Mr. Gregory, y'all care to pay anything on the bill this year? <laughs> so, how do you deal knowing the government's tapping your phone? You time up. When I get through here, I'm going to the room and call my wife and read the alphabets off to the back. There we go. Three months trying to crack that phone. <laughs> <laughs> you know you have to be to be a star. <laughs> you got to go to college, huh? You got to go to grad school to be a with aspirations of being a spy, you're not going to be black. It's not going to be Mickey Mouse when you grow up. Stay happy. Don't let this. What now? Don't let this tell you the truth. I'm serious. When you get out here isolate, see, when you look at the stocks, you look at the time. And the most people who have changed this. You know, all the folks from Congressman Bob's went to the floor of Congress. They talked about what happened to Kennedy. And he didn't believe none of it. Do you remember that speech? The next day, the New York Times came out saying he's out of his mind. He needs to be out of Congress. And his plane disappeared. How many of y'all know that? <laughs> Did you also know it was William Clinton that drove him to that building? It didn't just start. In the process of this talk research y'all doing, did you happen to come across the word we in the Arkansas? Yeah. Yeah. All the dubs come in there and Clinton runs it all. That's right. Huh? Somewhere. So when you look around these little punk heroes they give you, you look in the mirror one day and look at your face. You're the real ones. You're the real ones. You all got family members to think you're crazy? Yes. <laughs> now some of you are. <laughs> One thing you have to do, you have to be careful. So what you have on is the universe of magic glasses. There's responsibility to it. Once you put the magic glasses on, you can never take them off. And you can't force what you see on people who don't have the magic glasses. <laughs> In America, you've been taught to see how it's supposed to be. You know how it is. I never heard a lot of people, the family members, who haven't reached that level yet. They work in some retirement. They're working for this house. The French said it. The French named it Marcus. Y'all know that? Because it says a death note. Marcus. 
that statement was black. They had no black person with here. President, they had kept us in Africa and picked their own damn cup. <laughs> Tell me about family values. I am family values. I never stole nobody from another country. They brought me against their motherland, of their tongue, their religion, and they wipe up one sit and tell me about family values. She go ask the mafia. You want to know about that? They got the mother man and go to church every day and ask for me. Oh, Father, would you forgive me? I killed 27 people last night. And if you can do it quickly, I've got 10 more to kill by noon. <laughs> and the good part about what you're doing, once you get your eyes open, you, there's people out there that will miss you close. There's people out there that work for the CIA and the FBI. They hate to have to do this. But they got the same children to college. That's when you and them separate. I got 10 children. And I pick this over sending my children to college. Sending my children to college is not going to change nothing. You will. So when you go to bed at night, think about your responsibility. You have that you have with no budget. No budget. When you keep talking about World War Three will destroy this planet, then you really don't understand the real God. You understand the church. The real God, don't you hear that God talking to you? There's nobody with no weapon can destroy the planet. Oh, yes, well, well, I don't know. 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 You got on this planet the same way I got on the planet. So male penis went into a woman for China. And when they ejaculate, 500 million stones came out. <laughs> <laughs> you hear me? 500, not no one sperm came out. It's slow enough. It's slow enough to fallopial too. If we leave here this evening, it is five, that five, half a billion restaurants around. And we're going to take you to the best one. You in for an LA. Well, you are the best. Well, the half of the field is <laughs> So they ain't just messing with some punks and some sissies. They met with a powerful force. 200, 100,000 miles of blood vessels in your body. And that don't get in your way. Your blood make a complete cycle every 30 seconds. As you sit there now, your blood is traveling. 200,000 miles a minute, and you got your blood in the gym playing this fast. That's who you are. Just like I'm in that crap. The means, the bitterness at home from this system. Some of y'all do the same thing in your family that black men used to do love. They go home, white racist system. Reduce them to a little boy that they will come home and jump on us. I'll be a boy, you're my son, nigga, I'll kill you, use my house. They ain't mad at me, they had the white boys downtown that reduced them below their God value they have. And you all cannot make that mistake because too much depends on you. Too much depends on you. And when all the other people you got, you don't need NBC here. All you need is one good Robinson and a computer. You see them around the world. Uh, now you got to cheat. <laughs> you got to say at the conference, we turn 5,000 people. <laughs> they had so many people showing up, they had to grow up the white. <laughs> Yeah, I 
New York Times, we had a big spread on this. Now, get that number. Now, get those. Now, let's take it. There's no less power to run to say something good about them. They're strong looking, you look. Malcolm X. Oh, God. Yeah. That's what we're doing. We're not my guy. We're going to let him do it. And came to them bad this week in Brown. Because he got shot. 20,000 Dutch folk killed us. They weren't ready for that. The mayor gets on the phone and calls the governor. The governor called the president and said, You have to send the military and we don't think we can save New York City. But if you get the military, then we might be able to save New York. And then Malcolm X pulled up and jumped out of the car and ran up on the stage and said, Brothers and sisters, we take care of them. Go home. And they went home. Front page editorial the next morning, New York Times. They said what Malcolm did, and they ended up, No Negro should have that much power. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? I just said, Matt, well, you better fuck up from you. <laughs> <laughs> Sentenced to die by fire squad, they put a 
bullseye shoot you in your heart. Today they shoot you in your head and harvest everything down. This is going on right underneath you. And so somewhere, I cannot say thank you enough. I've been out here a long time. I see every move. And this will cut me off. 